I welcome those who are joining us through the television, through our social media platforms, and anywhere this gospel might be coming to you. Please don't change the channel. Don't be in a hurry. Sit back. I want to talk to us about our good helpers. Everybody needs help us in life. You need good helpers. There are bad helpers who take you to more problems. So today I want to talk about good helpers. Now we can sustain them, maintain them, achieve them and not know them. The book of First Chronicles chapter 12 Good helpers are necessary. You don't need to die helpless in life. Everybody needs helpers. Don't die helpless. God is desiring to give you help. Mostly, there is a statement by one American diplomat who said that God helps those who help themselves. It is not biblical. It is a statement which makes some logic. But I believe whichever way we need help in life. Bible says now this were the men who came to David at Ziglag. Let's read together. While he was still a fugitive from Saul, the son of Kishi, they were among the mighty men help us in the war you know i'm gonna say my father send me my helpers in every battle send me helpers in this life because i need help in the name of jesus verse number two says they were harmed with the bows using both the right hand and the left hand in howling stones and shooting arrows with the bow, they were of Benjamin souls. Brethren, did you know God can even send you helpers who do not like you, but they are commanded to help you? Remember, David was running away from Saul, and that Saul was a Benjamite, and God raised men in. The land of the Benjamites, Ephraim, and they became helpers of David. Verse number three, Bible says the chief was Isar, then Joas, the son of Shama, the Gibeonite, Jazil, and the Pelet, the son of Azmeth, Berecha, and Jeho, the Anodite. We all need helpers in life. And helper is somebody or someone who comes your way to assist you. He stands as a supporter or a collaborator. He can also be seen as a co-worker, a co-fellow. He works with you. He can be within your reach or without. He can be nearer or far. There are different types of helpers. And there are good helpers. I say there are good helpers. Genesis chapter 2 verse 18. God said it is not good for man to be alone. What I will do after seeing the suffering of man. I will make him an helper. Comparable or suitable for him. We all need helpers. When Jesus was going back to heaven, in John chapter 14 verse 16, he said, I will not leave you like orphans. I will send to you. I will pray the Father. He will give you another helper so that he can abide with you forever. You know I'm going to say, my Baba, ni tumie msaada kwa mambo ya maisha, kwa hali zote, kibiashara, ni tumie msaada in order for you to succeed in life, he 
in order for you to be outstanding you need several helpers the bible is very clear he says the help of men can be useless we have different types of helpers once you know how to utilize each and you discover you are not an island of yourself you cannot make it by yourself you need others to stand with you you need others to be there for you then you begin to behave god rides on the heavens so that he can help you when you are hurting god wants to help you when you are frustrated god wants to help you when you are sick god wants to help you when you are broke god wants to help you when you are devastated god wants to help you whatever challenge you have god is committed to ride on the heavens so that he can come and help you he know i'm gonna say my baba nitie nguvu nisaidie kwa safari ya maisha nisaidie mwambie nisaidie kwa mambo yote god says don't be discouraged be disappointed bad things can happen to you but god wants to help you out how will uphold your righteous right hand verse number 11 after god upholds you said behold all those who are in sins against you shall be a shame and disgrace i declare disgrace i declare disgrace upon your enemies i declare disgrace upon your haters i pray god will help you he will help you in your family he will help you in your career he will help you in your destiny he will help you in ministry he will help you out of that challenge i stand here as a prophet of god i declare your help is near i say i declare your help is near your help is coming your help is coming i don't care how terrible the battle looks may god help you out i don't care what they have said now my mom will go side dear how could say dear why you jammy how could say dear why you kissy how could say dear kazini how could say dear why you ay 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 say my father help me rabba zekiri buzaya we are not you warm jacob you men of israel i will do what i will help you if you will arrive there you must be helped i say if you will accomplish you must be helped when you were born there are people who helped you and received you from your mother's womb let me tell you on the day you die there are people who help you and they will take you to the final resting place of your body we need help us in life i say we need help us don't stay like you're an island of yourself you need help us look at someone tell them unaitaji wasaidizi unaitaji msaada angalia mwingine mwaambie unaitaji msaada god let me talk about several types of helpers like seven number one we have god god himself god is your first type of good helper that you need psalms 46 verses 1 says god is our refuge our strength our very present help in trouble na kuombea usaidiwe na mungu naomba hiyo jamii yako isaidiwe na mungu wanaongojea muachane bwana hawaibishe wanaongojea ufedheke mungu akusaidie nasema nyumba yako isaidiwe uondolewe kwa umaskini uondolewe kwa magonjwa uondolewe kwa shida inu wa mkono sema baba nisaidie bila wewe sitoweza katika jina la yesu kristo god is our help god is our help the bible says verse number two therefore we will not fear even though the heart be what removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea we will not fear 
Though the waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling, Selah, verse number four, there is a river whose streams shall make glad in the city of God, the only place of the tabernacle of the Most High. I love verse five. God is in the midst of her, she shall not be moved. God shall help her. Natangaza mungu wa kusaidie mama. Natangaza mungu wa kusaidie kwa yokazi. Wanaongo jea ukufe. Hawa taona kifo chako. Utaenda matanga yao. Wanaongo jea ukuise. Wajue ukona msaada. Mungu wa kusaidie. Mungu wa kusaidie. Mungu yu katikati yetu. Hata kusaidia. Sema baba. God is in the midst of her. We need the help of God. My help comes from God. Namba Mungu akusaidie. Wanao kuroga Mungu akusaidie. Asema wanao taka kukuashisha kazi Mungu akusaidie. Wanao taka mambo mabaya juu yako Mungu akusaidie. Vita hizi si vyako. Vita hivi ni vya Jehova na tangaza kama nabi wa Bwana Jehova akusaidie nasema Mungu asaidie watoto wako haya ya 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 watakapokaa kufanya mtihani wasaidiwe na Mungu pigia Yesu vigelegele I declare your help is coming from Jehovah. I say I declare your help is coming from Jehovah. May the Lord help you, child of God, as you raise your eyes and look upon the Lord. Your help is coming. I say your help is coming. You cannot cry forever. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Your help is coming. Lift your eyes. Lift your expectations. Lift your your faith look unto God I declare this year your help is coming from God I say God is helping your marriage God is helping your family God is helping your business God is helping your calling ay, 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 ay. may the Lord help you child of God I say may God help you in every battle man of God how will I make it the Lord will help you. Second Chronicles 26. Bible says verse 7. That this man. God. Helped him. Against the enemies. Against the Philistines. Against the Arabians. Oh, who lived in Gabal. Against the Munites. Mungu atakusaidia. Nasema mungu atakusaidia. Kinyume na wasigaramli. Kinyume na wasoma viganja. Mungu akusaidie wabashiri hawataona nyota yako Mungu akusaidie wanaovunja ndoa hawatakaribia nyumba yako Mungu akusaidie maroza noksi maroza visirani vinya mkera manjini muarabu kila aina ya uwepo wa kuzimu hautaona adresi yako sema baba nisaidie God helped him. Verse 15. Bible says, This man, this man, Jesus. Let's read together. And he made devices in where? Jerusalem, invaded by skillful what? To be on the towers and the corners to shoot what? Arrows and large stones. So his fame spread far and wide. For he was done what? He was done what? Marvelously done what? Helped until Naomba mungu wa kupe msaada wa ajab Nasema naomba mungu wa kupe msaada wa ajab May you be marvelous helped In Jesus name If Yahweh does not help you Where can I find for you help? My God will help you I say my God will help you I say my God will help you I don't care the famine I don't care the situation God will help when God wants to help you he does three things number one when God wants to help you he gives you divine opportunities that is number one 
you experience divine opportunities. Things that other people look for, you get them and you find that you can do them. Number two, when God wants to help you, he shows you mercy. Somebody say mercy. Shout mercy. Romans chapter number 9 verse 16 says, So then it is not of him who wills, nor of him who runs, but of God who shows mercy. Naomba mungu wa kuone uruma. Mungu waone nyumba ya mama yako uruma. Mungu waone maisha yako uruma. Inuwa mkono sema baba, nione uruma, unisaidie katika jina la yesu. Most of us we have been qualified, not because of our academics, not because we are good, but because God showed mercy on us. Receive mercy from heaven so that you can be helped by God. Number three, when God wants to help you, he introduces the person of the Holy Spirit to you. You get to know the Holy Spirit. John 14, 16. I will send to you another helper. The Spirit of God. He becomes your friend. He becomes part of you. You know him. You are not guessing. You know the Holy Spirit. You walk with him. You fellowship with him. You cry to him. He helps you because he is our ultimate helper. Number four, when God wants to help you, he gives you an akupa vipaji. You find you have talents, gifts, abilities, supernatural thoughts, creativity. Are you listening to me? Unaanza vitu zile watu wanaona kama ya kawaida unaanza kuona opportunities. Vitu zile watu wanangangana unaanza kuona vile unaweza kufanya. Lakini when God wants to help you, he gives you this we call creativity. He empowers you with the talents. And number 5 when God wants to help you, he sends to you the right people. The right people. Watu ni milango. Na milango ya Mungu ni watu. Can I say that again? Milango ya Mungu ni watu. Saa ingine tunakwama tunasema oh Mungu nifungulie milango, nifungulie milango ya kazi, nifungulie milango ya biashara, nifungulie milango ya pesa. Badala Mungu akufungue mila anakuletea watu. Milango ya Mungu ni watu. Niko hapa kwa sababu uliomba. Si useme amen. Kuna mtu uliomba miaka imepita ukisema Mungu nitumie mlango utakao nionesha destiny and here I am I am here to declare to you when God wants to help you he brings you people inwa mkono wa kulia sema father sent me the right people who will help me in Jesus name unaweza kuishi maisha ya kisirani kabisa Kwa sababu ya kukua na watu wa makosa. Lakini ukijielewa na ukijikusanya, kuna watu wa sawa. Angalia mtu mwambia kuna watu wa sawa maishani. Let me tell you, sisters who have suffered, brothers who have suffered, there are people who still care. There are people who can still treat you right. There are people who can still honor you. May God send you the right people. I say may God send you the right people. I don't advocate laziness or do I want people to give up easily. But I also want to tell you that the fact that you are being suffering in a certain thing, it doesn't mean they are no good people. Don't give up in life because of somebody. I pray as your man of God, may the Lord help you. I say may the Lord send you help us. In Jesus name. So God himself is our helper. Number two. Another helper that you need in life. You need helpers. Who are risk takers. Somebody say risk, risk takers. We all of us need people. Who can take a risk for us. We don't just need people. Who are just comfortable. And good. And just there. We need risk takers. Risk takers. Bible says in First Chronicles chapter 11 verse 17. Risk takers are people who can jeopardize their lives because of you. 
And David said with longing, Oh, that someone would give me a drink of water from the well of Bethlehem, which is by the gate. The Bible says, verse 18, So the three men broke through the camp of the Philistine. They drew water from the well of Bethlehem. That was by the gate and took it and brought it to David. Nevertheless, David could not drink it, but he poured it to the Lord. And he said, fight me from me. Uh-huh. If I will, oh, fight me from me, oh my God, that I should do this. That I should drink the blood of this man who have put their lives at risk. Because of what? For at the risk of their lives, they brought this water. Therefore, he will not drink it. These things were done by the three mighty men. You need people who can risk their lives because of you. She said, amen. amen. God forbid I'm not praying for something like this to happen. But if today you are hospitalized, do you know somebody who can come and sleep with you there? Do you know someone, Sahi ukaitishwa, inaitwa pae lama ni pint ya damu. Eh, ukaitishwa pint ya damu. Is there somebody who can risk their lives and go to the hospital because of you? Tell your neighbor you need risk takers. Some of us, hata ujawai tolewa damu, hata wache ya pint. Ukidungwa shindano, ni case. Ni vita. Unaitiangwa kamati. Ya kukudunga shindano. Can you risk your life for others? There were this man. Daudi hata kuongea mstari wa kumina nani. Alitamani tu. Akasema oh, natamani kama naeza pata maji. Alitamani, he said with a longing. Oh, natamani kama naeza pata samaki. Natamani kama kuna mtu anaeza kunisaidia. Natamani kama kuna mtu anaeza niletea maji. Nao wanaume watatu. Wakasema. Tutavunja. They broke through the camp. Can you go out of your way? Because of others. Do you have people who can go out of their way? People love you because of what you can do for them. But who can love you because of who you are? Who can risk their lives for you? How many people can travel from here? When the mashamba queen bila kukuitisha fair. May God give me risk takers. I say, may God give me risk takers. Oh, Pastor Mike, you need to get some risk takers. Oh, I say, everybody needs to get some risk takers. In one corner, say, my father, send me risk takers. People can go out of their way because of me in Jesus name the church is suffering because we don't have risk takers many people in the church are parasites opportunists I did not say all many but we still have a remnant to makofi masalia we still have a remnant every ministry needs risk takers can risk for the kingdom God is raising up risk takers God forbid if today you are not there do we have any woman you know who can risk their families to raise up your children I tell you bad things can happen to good people but who can risk for you stop being selfish what you saw in life is what you will reap Risk for others. You might be right sometimes, but don't just stand on the right. What you think you are right and justified. Take a risk because of others. The man who went in chapter 12, the Bible says in verses 1, they went to help David. They took a risk. These were the men who came to David at Ziglag. While he was still a fugitive. Hakuwa na sifa. Hakuwa mutu mkubwa. Hakuwa na ishima. They were among the mighty men. Who helped him. May God send helpers in this ministry. I said may God send helpers in this church. May God send helpers in Langa Langa. 
may God send help us in in Salga may God send help us in Kiti and in town naomba Mungu akutumie watu wa kukusaidia mtu ambaye atakushika mkono hakwambie my son my daughter yes i can take a risk because of you if i perish bible says in esther chapter 4 verse 16 esther ikafika mahali akasema liwe na liwa gather all the jews who are present in shushan and the fast for me neither eat nor drink for three days or nights my maids and i will fast like one. and so i will go to the king which is against the law and if i perish kama ni kuangamia nifanye nini sijawahi ona mtu ameangamia sababu ya kusaidia wengine na kuombea Mungu atume watu watakaoingia kwa simu kwa sababu yako watu watakaojituma kwa sababu yako kuna watu wako na opportunities lakini hawawezi ku risk hawawezi hata kazini hawawezi ku risk na na nafasi hata ya kusaidia kanisa na akisaidia na mimi sisemi usituitishe pesa kama tuko nayo tutakupa lakini ukiona yeye anaona kanisa mahali pa pesa ambia jirani yako hizi mahali ya pesa naomba Mungu apigane na wote wanaotuazia maovu wanaotutakia mabaya naomba Bwana akutetee inua mkono sema baba send me risk takers in the name of Jesus you need risk takers People who can put their risk, their lives at risk. Number three, another kind of helpers you need in life. You need helpers who will remember you. Helpers who will remember you. It is unfortunate these days we help people who do not remember us. Wewe unamsaidia na anakwenda Genesis 41 verses 9 Ya karabo zaya Then the chief butler spoke to Pharaoh saying I remember hey, my faults this day Ya kwamba kuna siku nilikuwa kwa shida Verse number 10 hey, When Pharaoh was angry with his servant put me in his cast, in the house of the captain of the guards both me and the chief baker We had a dream na tukatafsiri ndoto tulipo tafsiri ndoto kuna mtu aliitwa Yusufu huko jela akatuambia mkifika kwa Ferao munikumbuke walipotoka mstari wa 14 wakaenda then Ferao sent and called for Joseph wakakumbuka Yusufu wakasema nenda umlete mstari wa 13 akasema enda umlete na kuombea Mungu akutumie watu watakao kumbuka nasema Mungu akutumie watu watakao kumbuka watakao kumbuka vile uliwatendea mema watakao kumbuka vile uliwasaidia watakao kumbuka kama sio wewe hiyo kazi haingeendelea watakao kumbuka ya kwamba umekuwa msaada inua mkono sema father send me help us who shall remember me in the name of jesus and deliver me from parasites